So this is about the falling objects with, with air resistance, like more practical case, like without air resistance, you should have a perfect vacuum. But now with air resistance, what happened? Say you consider a motion of a parachutist. So consider a parachutist is jumping from the aircraft. So what is the force acting the moment he jumped? The only force which acts on the parachute is that is his weight. And so when the parachute is jumped from the aircraft, his speed will increase due to the weight of, of his body or the gravitational force acting on the object. As the speed of the parachute is increased, because we are talking about the real life scenario that we have air also around us. So as a result, when the speed increases, the air resistance will also increase. And when the air resistance increase, the resultant force or acceleration will decrease. Why? If I say the weight of the parachute is 700 newtons. Here, the weight is still 700, but because his speed is increasing, so air resistance will also increase. So as a result, what will happen? Maybe a 200 newton air resistance, which is opposite to the direction of the motion, so what is the resultant force now acting on the parachute is that is 500 Newton, which is downward. So resultant force is downward and the motion is also downward. So when the resultant force and the direction of the motion, both are same. So the object will accelerate. So he will also increase in speed, but this time the increase in speed will be smaller as compared to the first part, because the moment he jumped, he will have a greater change in speed. But because the air tries to oppose his motion, so the change in the speed will decrease. And eventually what will happen, once his weight and air resistance balance with each other, he will reach a terminal speed or a constant speed. What is the meaning of a terminal velocity? The terminal velocity means the constant velocity which object will reach when it is falling in the presence of air. So a 700 Newton, downward force and a 700 Newton upward force. So what is the resultant force? The resultant force is zero. So if the resultant force is zero, what happened to this parachute is he will not stop in air. He will continue to move because originally he was moving downward. That's why he will continue to move, but he won't change the speed this time. The speed of a parachute is will be constant. So when we sketch a graph to explain this part of the motion, when we sketch a speed time graph to explain this part of the motion, so in the beginning, it will, he will have a greater acceleration, then acceleration decrease, and eventually he will have a constant speed. This constant speed is called terminal velocity or the terminal speed. Is it uh, clear till this point? The motion of a parachutist or a sky diver? Anyone having a doubt or a question? Okay. And then what will happen? In exam, you will find this as a four mark question. So you have to learn, like you have to understand first and then learn the certain structure of this answer because it's a common question which you repeat. Then he opens the parachute. The moment he opens the parachute, the moment he opened the parachute, the upward force is more than the downward force, but it's not like because the, the skydiver was originally moving down as he jumps. And now when the moment he opened the parachute, by example, the force is 1000 Newton for the air resistance and a weight is 700 Newton. So what is the resultant force? The resultant force is 300 Newton upward because the resultant force is opposite to the direction of the motion. So what happened this time? This time he will slow down because the direction of the motion and the direction of the resultant force are opposite. And as he slow down, eventually the air resistance will decrease because his speed is decreasing. Air resistance depends on the surface area as, a, as well as the speed at which the object is moving. So at this point, why the air resistance increase? Because he opened the parachute so it will have a large surface area. 
But at this point, why the air resistance is decreasing? Because what happened? That uh, his speed is decreasing. So when the speed is decreasing, the air resistance will decrease. So the five sequence of the images, how, how you relate them. The first thing, the parachute is, or a skydiver jump, the weight cause an acceleration, his speed increased. Then because his speed is increasing, the air resistance will also increase. And that air resistance oppose the motion. So the skydiver acceleration will decrease. Then it's still he's accelerating, he still is changing the speed. And due to the change in speed or increase in speed, the air resistance will increase as well. And it balance with the weight. Once it balance with the weight, he will reach a terminal speed or a constant speed. The moment he opens the parachute, the upward force is more than the downward force, so he will decelerate. And when he decelerate, he slow down, so the air resistance decreases because he slow down, and eventually he will land on the ground. What is the advantage of using a parachute without a parachute? So the advantage is that that he will reach the ground with a low speed. So when a skydiver jumps, first his speed is increasing, then acceleration is decreasing, and then a terminal speed. The moment he opens the parachute, this is the point where he opens the parachute, he will slow down, and eventually he will reach a new terminal speed, and with a low terminal speed, he will land on the ground. So this graph is very important which explain the speed time graph for a parachutist. So you have to draw this graph and learn the explanation uh, for each of the figure. If you uh, explain the terminal velocity with this explanation, that's also fine. So this is the journal answer for objects which are falling with air resistance and they reach a terminal speed. But if specifically for a parachutist, you have to learn these answers. Is it uh, clear? Any question or a doubt in this? The motion of a parachutist or a skydiver?